Yo, what's up? What's up, friend? What's up, friend? It is Jay again, guys. Um, I wanna show you all how we traded these uh, signals. We took them yesterday, and you are still holding them. Me and my group, uh, because we know we trust our strategy. So I wanna just uh, tell you in short how and why. We decided to take these signals. As you know, our uh, our strategies, how they work, guys. I'm one of the traders who doesn't change strategy in anyhow. I only use uh, these strategies. I use this. I use this, and I use this. And when I go to my MT5. I use this so these are these are strategies that I combine after analysis analyzing market from trading view <laughs> and then I will come to ask my strategies if they agree with me if they agree with my analysis so after my strategies tells me that I'm right then I will just go ahead and tell my my team to press trade and myself I will trade the same signals here. so as you know this moving average 200 always you know that and this moving average uh, we uh, we consider this as a buy when it comes below of the trend you can see it's below the chart and second thing when a parabolic starts drawing from below so you can see what happened we consider this is trend line so we have now a strong support here and when our parabolic starts giving us uh, this draw from below then we know that's time to buy and also if you just create trend line from above you can see that it's already been broken so which means you have all of uh, things possible to note that market is obvious changing direction so you know what i mean it's obvious changing direction so this is a 15 minute time frame so when it comes to this um maybe it's too, it went too far you can see it let me just show termin time frame is where you can see that our moving average has uh, managed to touch level 10 and bounce back and this level 19 were broken so now it was like completing this of saying that this true market is going up and now you can come to this side you can see that this line blue line is it's it managed to break up above this so now it means that oh, everything was clear so we pressed a uh, gbp usd buy yes there was uh, a few challenges of pullback but our direction was was all right and our stop loss were safe we didn't hit or we didn't touch our stop loss so this is how we took a gbp usd i will just go to another strategy and make it clear how we combine this so as you can see this is still 15 minutes time frame and I'm still uh, using the same, I'm still holding the same pairs there. So we're talking about GBPUSD. Uh, this is the same 200 moving average you saw there, and it managed to break here. So if you create like a trend line from above, it's clear means that trend line is broken. So since 200 uh, moving average have managed to come and break below the chart, now this was the first time to, to tell us that market is going up second thing was that the trend line of us were broken that second sign number three we had parabolic that have started to draw from below 
to up so it was clear showing that we have a clear oh, entry somewhere here even though we could face a pullback we knew that pullback is not going to break all of this and we just uh pressed our stop loss here this is where we pressed stop loss here and then we just managed to buy and our signals are running smoothly so we're going to euro usd euro usd uh, it did the same thing it did the same thing you can see 200 moving average and parabolic here is green and clear and when we come here you can see that our market just went up and bounced back certain times and then went up so this is a clear and clean entries uh, but we didn't enter from here actually we just took our entry uh, from somewhere here and then we were good to go so guys uh, uh, now I just sent uh, USD we, we just bought it again we just bought the same thing again oh euro USD and GBPSD now we sold you USD JPY what's the reason behind to say USD JPY uh, as you can see that our moving average that have managed to break above the chart so it means market have this strong resistance and comes down and break this um, our moving average and went back to retest it several times it came moving down and now uh, we are expecting a few minutes of pullback obvious obvious we were expecting this but uh, our prediction is still right our direction is still right <coughs> oh when we come to this strategy you can see that it did all of things possible to tell us that it's time to say since it breaks this level it's five this we consider it as a strong sell so it went down you can see obvious what happened there was this pullback which is this yesterday uh usdjp went down during the crude oil news that's why it went back up after um, that crude oil news so it have to follow its direction which is what um, you are seeing here but now the, the time has come for it to go down again so I'm not gonna talk too much about this you can see that it's clear it's clear that it's going down so <coughs> let's go back to to this and look for USD JPY and talk about it. Oh, USD JPY, you can see that it has beautiful chart. This is what I was telling you about there. That market have managed to break our 200 moving averages. 200 moving averages is a strong and strongest moving average, guys. You don't have um to to to. To have all of indicators and forget about 200 moving averages in your screen if you are an indicator user and then you can see our parabolic from above is doing wonderful so when you come to second strategy you can see where market change direction from from there it never went back so this is 15 minutes but when it goes to 10 minutes you will see, you understand it clearly you understand it clearly because you can see when moving average has breaks this now it's a beginning of uh, parabolic so now you can see uh, it's managed here to break uh, for level 8 which is considered as a strong sell you can see level 8 is a strong sell so we have to sell it because we know that um, market is going down also, also oh because this is yesterday trades i used another account to trade them let me just show you i used i used another account you can see that we don't have any usd jpy here 
but I traded them uh, the same signal GBP USD and Euro USD and the Euro USD also and then uh, USD JPY. Let me show you the account. Yeah, so guys, this is the same account that I was telling you that I will trade it again. This is Euro USD as I told my guys to buy it again and they bought it again. Now it's doing what you can see and this is GBP USD and I told them to buy again and we because the trade of yesterday are almost on, on the last TP because we always use TP number one, number two, number three. So Euro USD have managed to reach number two num uh, number one and number two is almost on number three so i gave them new or oh, tp number one number two number three which is gonna be a uh, double now and gbp usd i did the same and now usd jpy is still not uh going well because it's still fighting to set uh, strong resistance here you can see when it comes from above this the strongest resistance we have when it comes to do this it have to make sure and have resistance which is strong here so it can keep on going down under the trend line but this will take few minutes you can see as it's going up it's going up is not gonna just go below above this and from here what's going to do is to go down uh no stop so currently this is what we are facing from the uh, signal that we took this morning the same signal we're still holding from yesterday so um i was just one i was just uh showing you how we took another trade this morning the same trades the thing is we just add our uh, usd jpy uh, i think today we're gonna make good money we're gonna just make good money so guys i think i'm going to uh, stop my video from here because it's too long now it's about 30 minutes let's go back to our yeah <clears throat> here we are it's going at down a little bit you know it was 1.5 something like that but um it's doing nice because we took this account from 1.7 and now it's on one uh 3k 3k is enough but we're still holding them because there's still a long way to go oh uh, obvious after uh, let me check on termin time frame yeah obvious we are expecting to get our last tp our second our second tp here when market came c2 already on second tp but our target is to come down here so uh we're going to make a good run on usd jpy and euro usd euro usd Euro USD will make sure is on this level. So this way we just close our entries. That's where our last TP is this term in time frame. So from here there's a too much pips that we make. And GBP USD uh, also GBP USD also this is where we're going to get our uh, TPs from our last tp from so from this level to this side we're gonna make a lot of thousands of thousands so guys let me stop from here what i can see is to enjoy your day we'll see you in next video guys I'm, uh, um, as i'm recording this i'm still in bed still here for me um, to analyze and computer but i analyze this with my cell phone imagine so enjoy your day guys jay loves you all